Hey everyone, this is Jennifer Keller in education here. And today we're going to talk about how to add your social media to the social connector. If you're ever lost for content to post on your Facebook business page, this is a great way for the system to automatically post on your behalf. And there are several things that it can post and you have the ability to turn certain things off and on. So to get started, you're going to click on the, on the left hand side, the little orange button that says social media. You're going to go to the Facebook login button and this will connect it to your Facebook business page. If it's, if you're not currently logged into your Facebook, let's say you're on a, on one of the office computers, you will have to have your um, Facebook login. So I'm going to click continue as Jennifer Keller because I am currently in my computer logged into Facebook. So it's authenticating the account right now. And so now I'm logged in. So in order for you to see what is available for you to, um, to turn off and turn on and what it will post on your behalf, now that you're logged in, because it says I'm logged in here, I'm going to click on Facebook Connector Setting. Another thing that you want to check if you have multiple business pages attached to your Facebook page is where it says business pages, you can see which one you're connected to. And I'm connected to my, my business page. Okay, so where it says new listings here, so every time you get a new listing on the MLS that is in your name, it can automatically post to your social media, to your business page on Facebook. You don't have to post it yourself. Um, it's gonna post with a default template. It's gonna say, just listed, take a look at this new listing ad, and it's gonna have the address, and it's also going to have a link to um, your property details page on your branded website. If you have your own slogan, you can always change this. It's gonna say the same thing every time. And that is turned on. You can turn it off if you, don't, if you wanted to post that yourself, but it'll immediately post for you. It'll also post when you put an open house in the MLS. It'll say the time, the day, it'll say stop by to see this property at and the, the date and the time. It's gonna post this on your social media the day that you put it in the MLS. We don't do coming soons in this market, so um, I have this, this feature turned off. If you upload any new videos or any new photos to your MLS listing, it'll um, post again. If you have any price reductions, it'll post this as well. And it says new price, take a look at the new price for, and then it gives the address and also a link to, and it's, this is a link to your business page, I'm sorry, to your branded website. Once you have a sale, so when you close on something, it will post that as well. The reason that I have this feature turned off is because I like to post more personal videos and, and photos of my clients at the closing table um, and things like that. But if that's not something that you have in your, um, your social media strategy where you take the time to do that, then you can most certainly have this feature turned on so you don't have to touch it. It'll say recently sold. Take a look at what I recently sold. If you want to change this, you can always change. You can click edit and change what the information says. If you have a blog, you can turn this feature on and it will post your blog articles. My Customer for Life articles. These are the articles that come out um, and if you have a campaign set up for your clients to get, it's the same articles, but you can also have this post on your social media. So if you turn this on, you can also choose what days it posts. So this is like content that you're putting on your social media. So if you don't know what to post and you know that you don't wanna just post listings and you wanna post actual content, this is a great way to put content on your Facebook. Customer reviews. Anytime a customer gives you a review, this will also push it out to your Facebook page. The market watch reports. And so if you've set up market watch reports, you know, and these are the reports that show, you know, a specific neighborhood, it shows um, active listings, price reductions, pendings, what's um, sold, it shows all of that information on this one beautiful report. And you can set this to post these reports on your Facebook page. We, and we don't do pre-announced listings. So here, here's what they look like. It's an example post. And so it says, just listed, take a look at our new listing. And it gives a property address. And then this link will bring them to your property details page on your site. So again, you can go through and turn on and off the features that you want. 
And then at the bottom, just make sure you hit save preferences. And you can always, you know, if you're finding on your social media that, um, you know, it's just, it doesn't look as good as you'd like it to look, or um, you wanted to just post some of your own stuff, you can always turn these features off whenever you want and then turn them back on later. You can also limit the amount that it posts. And so if you know for sure that you're gonna have, you know, five new listings about to hit the market and you don't want them all to be posted on social media in the same day, you can say limit to, you know, one per day. And so it'll post one today, one tomorrow. And, and that's it, it's pretty simple.